Hey, a pleasant good day everyone, this is Sports Tonight News, I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick reaction to our Flyers absolutely stomping and taking it to the Seattle Kraken today, 6-1 to one in the second game of the season, and the fourth in franchise history for the Seattle Kraken. It all started with the captain setting the tempo, really that entire first line setting the tempo, but Giroux was able to get the goal on the assist that was blasted on the assist by TK. And then TK on another great play by Keith Yondel was able to get home one when he was able to get the nice pass from Yondel, shoot it, get the rebound, and put it back. And then, of course, we had Derek Broussard get his goal assisted by Braun and Travis Sanheim, who bounced back from a putrid first game and looked very solid tonight at the uh, defenseman position on the second line defense there, being able to step up and play a good game with Justin Braun as his mate. So that was very good to see as well as Broussard was able to get a fortunate goal. Brass, as they called him in his Columbus days, was able to get a fortunate goal off of the boards there. And then you have Ryan Ellis. Obviously, you love to see that. You love to see Ellis being able to score on the snapshot there to make it 4 to nothing. That was assisted by Broussard and Joel Fairby, who already got his second assist. Broussard, of course, then now in this game has a goal and an assist. So he obviously played very, very, very well in this game, Derek Broussard as he is able to have a two-point game and really step up. All the new guys are playing great. Keith Yondo played good in the first game, continued in this game, uh, having a couple of assists himself. So, obviously, you love to see that out of the young players continue to play with great success in this game as well. So, when it came to Justin Braun, Justin Braun, even the defensive defenseman gets from the scoreboard, assisted by Van Riemsdyk and Oscar Lindblom getting his first point. And then when it came to Justin Braun, he also got an assist, as I said, on that Broussard goal. So he played a great overall game. And now it looks like uh, Keith Yando actually only had one assist. I apologize. He has three total assists now on the season on that Konechny goal. But uh, he played a great game. Derek Broussard played a great game. Cam Atkinson played a very good game. He was active again as well. Joel Fairby continues to play great, continuing from next year, or last year, excuse me, into this year. And then Travis Konechny continues to play great. Hopefully he continues a hot start this year throughout the season, which I think he's poised to do and is going to do. So this was a game the Flyers just took it to them from the get-go. They came in. They played aggressive, like I talked about in my preview. Keep that same aggressive and shooting mentality that you showed against the Canucks, but keep it throughout the game. That's exactly what they did. They outshot them by 3, 27 to 24. Philip Grubauer really was off his game tonight, but what really started this that we obviously had to point out the play of the game is honestly the Carter Hart save on Jordan Eberle. It was the save that started it all, basically. That's what gave the momentum to the Flyers, and then they didn't look back as Giroux scored the goal, TK scored the goal. Then, of course, you had Broussard get one on a fortunate play there, but he earned that, and then Ellis, and then the defensive player, Ryan Braun, was able to add one. Unfortunately, Carson Soucy was able to get one on a rebound to nullify Carter Hart's shutout, but the Flyers played a great game, a full game, a full team game today, and that is without their full-blown lineup when the Kraken looked very good in their first three games. Each game they lost by one goal, and then they were able to beat the Nashville Predators, who obviously aren't great, but are playing very well for John Hines earlier in the season. So it's great to see our Philadelphia Flyers come in and really establish themselves, have brute force this entire game, and really stop it on the crack in the entire game, and really bring it to them. Keith Yandel had a great game as a star of the game for me. Carter Hart would be a star of the game for me. And then another guy would be, um, obviously, Travis Konechny continuing his great success to start this season, as well as the captain. I'm not just doing three stars. I don't care. We'll give him more as he has to get a star as well because he's been playing consistently well in these first two games and really setting a tempo and even getting into it with Nathan Bastion there, which is great to see. He's even setting a physical side to his game, so that's going to be huge because we're having a big physical boy coming in in Zach McEwen, and we're having another very good penalty kill coming in in Patrick Brown and a good defender as well. When today the defense looked really good, which led to great offense, and that's what you want to see. The Goaltending was very good today with Carter Hart, and that's exactly what you want to see from Carter Hart. So this is all positive. This is all um, gumdrops and roses for the Flyers in this game. And this is exactly what you want to see because we're facing, obviously, a tough opponent, not a division rival, but definitely a rival nonetheless in the Boston Bruins next game. And we're going to play our Atlantic 
division rival, as we're, of course, in the Metropolitan in the Bruins. And that's not going to be an easy game as Swayman's playing very good early. And then Linus Olmark's a talented goaltender himself. Plus, they got a pretty good team in general. And they're a team that you never count out until they just start showing that they're finally getting too old to compete. So it's great to see this. It's great to build this momentum. The Kraken were a great team coming in. Again, I would say pretty much all the newcomers were the stars of the game. And then Fairby. TK and Claude Giroux, plus Carter Hart with the save that started it all. This was a beautiful game for a Philadelphia Flyers. This is exactly what you want to see. It's going to take a little bit for this team to be all things in unison because you have a lot of new players and new faces that got to integrate in the regular season and get going. And we don't even have everyone back yet. We don't have Hayes. We obviously do not have Ristu Line and either who is d debatable at this point it sounded like from what JJ was saying for Wednesday so we'll have to keep track of that but all things considered this was a great game Sealer actually played pretty well filling in yet again for back-to-back -back games obviously you don't want to overplay him he's a guy that's just a fill-in defenseman but he's doing his job he's filling in and he's doing his role he's doing exactly what you ask him to do and that's all you ask of him and he's playing well and the Flyers overall team stepped up Claude Giroux is playing like the leader we know he can be the captain we know he can be and the point producer we know he can be that Jamie Bascal the great Jamie Basco always talks about. Derek Broussard plays like he did with AV before. He looked very comfortable playing with AV as a coach, and that's showing again. And same goes with Cam Atkinson. Cam goes with Keith Yondel. These are looking like very good cheap contracts for Yondel and Broussard early on. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. The Seattle Kraken gets stomped by our Philadelphia Flyers tonight, 6-1. to one. This has been a reaction to that. Subscribe down below or up top to use the easy widget at the end if you want to keep the content going and growing, and we know you do. Let's go Flyers. Let's keep this going in Boston, or not in Boston, against Boston on Wednesday. Go Flyers. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.